Shaq is one of the greatest NBA players of all time. He's the most dominant player the game has ever seen and is arguably a top 10 player of all time. He's a man that other grown men feared. He's a four-time NBA champion, a three-time finals MVP, an MVP, and a 15-time All-Star. But one of the most impressive parts about Shaquille O'Neal's career didn't even come from Shaq himself. And this is one of the most incredible and random streaks in not only the NBA world, but all of sports. In every year since the 1983-84 NBA season, at least one player at some point played with Shaq has made it to the NBA Finals. Which is somewhat crazy, but at the same time, Shaq has played with many, many NBA players because throughout his career, he was a journeyman. Of course Shaq himself only played in 19 NBA seasons and was drafted in the 1992 NBA Draft, but his teammates have made this streak continue from 1983 all the way up until this season, the 2019 NBA season. Obviously Shaq being teammates with Kobe and LeBron definitely helped this streak continue because they had made it to the NBA Finals 12 consecutive appearances, which is crazy, obviously LeBron doing most of the work. But for 36 straight years, Shaq, either himself or his teammates, have made an appearance. So who are the players this season that could make this streak continue? And there are some pretty good players that could make this streak continue. And you will be surprised on some of them because in the end it's not the individual talent that Shaq is looking for. He's looking for these teammates to be on good teams so they can help make the NBA Finals. With that said, let's get on to the video. If you enjoy these types of videos, this is a bit of a random one, but if you enjoy NBA content, be sure to hit that subscribe button. If you enjoy these types of videos, be sure to leave a like. Let's see if we can reach a thousand likes for the next video. And if you're new around here, be sure to hit that subscribe button for NBA content every single week. With that said, let's get on to the video. What's crazy is that this streak isn't even impressive. The streak that Shaq had prior was even more impressive. From the start of the streak up until the 2018 NBA Finals, Shaq or his teammate had won the title every year. But obviously in 2018, there was no player on the Warriors that had played with Shaq. The only part that Shaq had presence in was Steve Kerr. He obviously coached the Warriors, but Shaq and Steve Kerr were teammates, and obviously Steve Kerr was Shaq's general manager in Phoenix. So that streak ended at 34 years. But that's pretty impressive in itself. Somebody who won a title. That means there's only one team in the league out of 30 to win a title Shaq was actually teammates with. But the streak that has continued since 1984 is the fact that Shaq has played with someone who has made the NBA Finals. In 2018, it was LeBron James and Jeff Green, and last season it was Danny Green. So who is it going to be this season? At number 4, Goran Dragic. Look what's happened to me. I can believe it myself. Suddenly I'm on top of the world. It's going to be hard for the Miami Heat, even though they are playing very well and exceeding expectations, unless they make a major trade, I don't think the Heat will be NBA Finals contenders. And this is coming from a Heat fan. But as we've seen this season, the Miami Heat are definitely surprising a lot of teams. They beat the Bucks, they beat the 76ers, they blew out the Rockets, they had a pretty close game against the Los Angeles Lakers. So overall, the Miami Heat not only are surprising teams, but they are being one of the top teams in the Eastern Conference, which makes them a title contender. Obviously, when it gets into the playoffs, we're going to see the Miami Heat probably struggle against some of the better teams like the Bucks and the 76ers in a seven-game series. But in saying that, they have a 22-8 record, which is the fourth best record in the entire NBA this season. Just behind the Bucks, the Lakers, the Celtics, and then behind them is the Denver Nuggets. So, the Miami Heat, at this rate, are looking like NBA Finals contenders. Do I think they're going to make it there? Probably not. But for Shaq, it would be very interesting to see Goran Dragic make it because that would be the player to keep this streak alive. In saying that, Goran Dragic and Shaquille O'Neal played for one season together on the Phoenix Suns. Goran Dragic was just a rookie in 2008, 2009 when he played with Shaq on the Phoenix Suns. There's a story that says when Goran Dragic was a rookie, Shaq made him bring 24 donuts to every home game and they were all eaten by Shaquille O'Neal. Can you so, share some of your uh, rookie yeah. hazing stories from Phoenix? I know uh, he probably got you pretty good, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, well, it was a lot of times. So <laughs> once, first of all, I had to bring every home game. I had to bring um, 24 um, donuts. Um, but at that time, you know, but eat donuts, only Shaq. So, <laughs> uh, then, uh, what was it, Krispy Kreme? Krispy Kreme, yeah, okay. Krispy Kreme, yeah. Okay. But as for Goran Dragic as a rookie, he had some very good mentors, and the Phoenix Suns put some good players around him. Shaq, 
Grant Hill, Steve Nash, they were old players but they gave him a lot of advice. And throughout his career, he probably exceeded expectations from what he was meant to be coming into the league. So shout out to Goran Dragic. He was an all-star and now he's 33 years of age and he finds himself on a contending team but probably not an NBA championship team. At number three, Robin Lopez. Taking a break from all your worries sure would help a lot. Once again, another Phoenix Sun, just as Goran Dragic was. Robin Lopez was Shaq's rook. He came into the league at a similar height, and a guy that obviously was not like Shaq in terms of looks, but he was a very big man who played center, so Shaq took him under his wing. And obviously Shaq was quite old when playing in Phoenix, but he used his wisdom to help Lopez. And Lopez said, and I quote, Shaq is pretty mischievous and playful, Lopez said, but he was a great vet to me. He always talked about the Big Man Alliance and basketball gods. If you're good to those two things, he said, you'll be okay. There's this one story that goes Shaq made Robin Lopez and Goran Dragic do defensive slides in a restaurant, which is pretty funny. He was drafted 15th overall by the general manager at the time, who was Steve Kerr. He had Shaq, Grant Hill, Steve Nash, Amari Stoudemire to all help him out, and then Bill Cartwright as a big man coach. That's a lot of help and a lot of experience for a guy that was coming into the leagues. This season though, Robin Lopez is playing with his brother Brooke Lopez on the Milwaukee Bucks, alongside the MVP, Giannis Antetokounmpo, and the way that the Bucks are playing with the best record in the NBA, they could definitely make it to the NBA Finals this season. I believe it will be Philadelphia that will end up making it to the NBA Finals in the East, but if the Bucks keep playing like they have been and Philly isn't playing as well, you never know. The Bucks are killing teams at the moment and to be honest, they were the best team in the NBA last season. Unfortunately, they couldn't make it to the NBA Finals, but if Giannis keeps doing what he's doing, he might be able to carry Robin Lopez to the NBA Finals and that's one of Shaq's teammates, so that would be pretty cool to see as well. Number two, Jeff Green. Originally, Jeff Green was playing on the Utah Jazz. As of three days ago, which means that he may join a contending team. So who knows what team Jeff Green will play on, but when he did play with Shaq, he was playing for the Boston Celtics. But Jeff Green has been a very interesting player. He's played on contending teams. He actually continued Shaq's streak in 2018 on the Cleveland Cavaliers, but he started his career in Seattle. Then obviously that moved to the Oklahoma City Thunder, got traded to the Celtics, and that's when he actually got to play with Shaquille O'Neal. But he's obviously moved around since then. He's played in six teams in the last five seasons, and now he's about to play on another team if he can get picked up which I think he will be. He's got the experience, he knows what it takes to get to the NBA Finals, and he will be able to provide some quality minutes. Hopefully that is for a title contender, who knows who it will be, but the Clippers are looking for a guy like Andre Iguodala, and if they can't get him, they may go after Jeff Green. Same with the Lakers, and same with the Denver Nuggets. So one of those three teams are definite NBA championship contenders in the Western Conference, and in a stacked Western Conference, a guy like Jeff Green may be that little edge to get you over the line. Who knows, but Jeff Green, if he ends up on a title contender, could keep the Shaq streak alive. And number one, LeBron James, Danny Green, Avery Bradley, and Rajan Rondo. All plays that have played with Shaq, and all plays that are on the Los Angeles Lakers. LeBron and Danny Green obviously played with Shaq in Cleveland. Avery Bradley and Rajan Rondo obviously played in Boston. And those are four guys that are on the same team at the moment, which is kind of crazy. But obviously the Los Angeles Lakers are predicted to be NBA championship contenders. They've got LeBron and you can never count out LeBron because he's basically always in the NBA finals. Eight straight finals. He's the man that can keep the streak alive if any other player was going to do it. But when Shaq and LeBron played together, Shaq was pretty old. LeBron had already had thoughts about leaving the Cleveland Cavaliers even the year prior to 2010. You can see that in an interview here. You know, I'm looking forward to this upcoming season, but I'm also, I'm looking forward to the summer of 2010 to see what, what may happen. But no matter what happens in that summer, you know, I'm still here. You know, I got a, I got a nice big house here that I'm always coming back to. And, um, you know, I, I love this city and I will always give back to the city, no matter what my profession, if it takes me somewhere else. How hard a decision do you think it's going to be? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see once they get here. All right, before we get to 2010, there's the 2009 season. Your new teammate, Shaquille O'Neal, he said just last week, he said, LeBron is just tired of losing. So explain that feeling that you have. You know, bringing in Shaq, I think, with his dominance and his presence and his, his experience, that he can help me play into late June. He talks about getting Shaq, but obviously he knows that Shaq's 37, and obviously he does talk about Shaq in a high regard, but I think he does deep down know that he isn't the Shaq that obviously played with Kobe and Dwayne Wade. This is a very old Shaq, and I think deep down he knows, but he also tries to keep his hope up that, yeah, we got somebody at least, because Cleveland had nobody. 
And obviously, it was what the Cleveland Cavaliers could do to help LeBron, but it wasn't enough. Shaq only played 23 minutes and played 53 games that season, averaging 12 points and 6.7 rebounds, which obviously is not Shaquille O'Neal numbers. Then when you look at the time he played with Rajan Rondo and a rookie Avery Bradley, he played 37 games that season, he was injured playing 20 minutes per game, because the only reason he was on the Boston Celtics was to win an NBA championship and get his fifth NBA championship, but he didn't end up doing that. He got injured right at the end when the Miami Heat and the Boston Celtics were facing off against each other, and that killed the rest of his season and the rest of his career. He retired in the 2010-11 season, and that was it from Shaquille O'Neal. And if we fast forward to this season, 10 years later, LeBron finally has his big man that he can compete with. And he's the perfect guy, obviously, that can help get Shaq back to the NBA Finals. The Lakers are obviously one of the better teams in the league. Having LeBron as your centerpiece, alongside Anthony Davis, one of the best duos in the NBA, and obviously, arguably, the greatest duo in the NBA, it's a team that looks very scary. So, obviously, they haven't been able to beat the Clippers yet, so maybe that's an indication of maybe not making it to the finals. Because once it gets to the playoffs, it's going to be very interesting. Because you would assume that either the Bucs or the Lakers can make it out of the East and the West, but if it's not the Bucs or it's not the Lakers, this Shaq streak may end. So let me know your predictions right now. Do you think this Shaq streak will continue? And if you enjoy this video, it's a little bit of a random one, but it's pretty funny and pretty cool. So I thought I'd share it with you guys. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. Subscribe if you're new for more NBA content every single week. And it's been your Bonnie Smith. I am out. Peace.